What's going on YouTube? It's Dylan. We're back here with another Madden video. Now, before we get into like the whole best defense stuff, make sure to subscribe if you're new and also like the video. Now, we're just going to hop straight in. Um, we're going to start off with the easiest defenses to set up for like beginner players and stuff like that. Maybe you're not too good with the quick adjustments. And then towards the end, we're going to go more advanced. Also towards the end, we'll have the best Wildcat. Heavy Panther and near close flex defense for those annoying ass formations that I know you guys play in Ultimate Team all the time. Now, for the first defense, again, we're here in the Tennessee Titans playbook, of course. I think you saw the thumbnail. So we're gonna be in this 4-4, 4-4 right here. And we'll just show it, we'll just show it against like I form slot uh, stretch. So you're gonna come out in this cover three right here. So um, and the adjustments are pretty simple. So triangle. To the left baseline line. You can do this in your coach adjustments. Um, another thing that I would always have in my coach adjustments, which I'll talk about earlier, is uh, there's a thing called option defense. Always have that set to conservative. That will help you not get beat by like Lamar Jackson and Regs or like any fast quarterback and ultimate team. So the uh, like defense always plays the quarterback. Now, so for the next setup of the video, or for this defense, I meant, uh, you're going to hit right on the D pad, up on the linebackers. To spread them l1 r1 qb contain like this and then you bring the safety down in the box like this pretty simple stuff it's it's really easy to set up once you get used to it and also you're going to be on the weak side backer and you're going to move him back a little bit so and as soon as the ball is snapped your one job hit the right stick in um i didn't do it that time because i snapped the ball too early but if you see they're running hit the right stick in that should send that safety right there right into the uh into the play so again we'll base the line and then bring this dude down we spread our linebackers l1 r1 qb contain now boom you see you see how the safety came down right there and your one job as a user is to not give up the touchdown that's pretty much your one job like you can run backwards with them for like 20 yards doesn't matter just don't give up the touchdown so that's the first setup of the defense um wouldn't say it's the best by any means um pretty much like you will give up 100 yards sometimes to it because you know how mad and me with like all the lucky runs and stuff so the next defense that i would like to talk about but i'm not going to show is um storm brave one like i think that's kind of dead because the run game with uh the formation i'm going to show you last um it stops everything and yeah storm brave one is good in three four odd but like Having four linebackers on the field when everyone's passing out of running formation, just I don't feel like that's logical at all. So what we're going to do now is uh, show you guys pretty much the best run defense for re or two receiver run formation. So that's like strong close, um, even I form slot. Um, as long as they have two receivers, this is pretty much the best. So we'll just show it up against the HP dive right here. And it's going to be the nickel 245 odd and it's going to be bench blitz three so we're going to right stick or right d-pad down the right stick l1 on one qb contain now you see this corner blitzing right here um you would normally want them on the other side and when i run this defense first two wide receiver sets i always have auto flip on so this corner is to the strong side so just another little tip but even now it will still stop it but like, if it, I had him on the other side, it's more likely the QB will get sacked by just handing this off. So, you can really do whatever you want with this corner. You can man him up. You can put him in, like, a cloud flat, triangle, triangle, corresponding button, down on the left stick like this. You can really do whatever with him. You can even blitz him to, like, have a nice little blitz that sends seven and make sure he's in the QB contain. Um, it's a little hard because the outside dude is so outside. So kind of like that, I mean, he's fine. Like, he'll still get there. So you're basically sending one, two, three. You're sending like seven at him right now. So, again, it's still a good blitz as well. Now we'll show it up against the HB dive. And you see right there, they got a good blocking. But I'll flip it this time to make sure that you guys see that, like, this is the setup you want. You want the corner to the strong side. And we'll even move him in on the blitz. And you're going to want to use her, this dude, especially if you're blitzing him. And... You just can't give up anything to the right side of the field. Um, you see a seam flat right there. You can man him up if you want. You can put him in a cloud flat. You can do a lot, a lot of things. You can even put him in a vert hook, which might help first, uh, like, posts and stuff like that. So we'll show it this time against the HB dive right there. And that's what happens mostly every time. Uh, the linebacker will come free like that and just tackle you in the backfield. Now, say, like, they're in strong close or I-form tight. Or not, not I form type, but like they can audible to like strong close from a two receiver set. That's what we're going to do for the next defense. Now, 
you can audible from the defense we were just in, the 2-4-5 odd, to this uh, best run defense, um, which is the 3-3-5 wide, of course. Um, we'll show it up against iPhone tight first, like so. We'll just run stretch. Um, now, in Ultimate Team, you're going to want an inside stuff right here and an inside stuff right here just to make it better. Um, I tried to run this in, like, regs without inside stuff, and it didn't work as well. So, we're just going to come out. Cover two man is the play. You can press if you want. Triangle down the left stick. Left D-pad up. Spread your D-line. And now you're going to want to QB spy these two safeties. So, triangle, triangle, triangle to the right. Triangle, triangle, X to the right. Then you're just going to not give up the touchdown. Um, this is pretty basic stuff. But, uh, yeah, it stops the run really well. You see the safeties, like, coming down playing crazy. So, but a, a thing that I like to do, because most people, like, I don't see a whole lot of iform tight anymore, like especially once you run this defense a little bit. Um, you can really just freestyle your coverage, really. So I'd probably still spy the strong side safety, which this time to the right to the receiver side. And then you can still keep the deep half. And what I like to do is play underneath man coverage, triangle down on the right stick. This underneath man coverage will do a great job versus slants and uh, slants, zigs, hitches. So if you ever see like someone's really uh strapping your like short routes it's probably because they're playing underneath man coverage now i'll show a uh what's it what do we want to run mm -mm -mm. we'll show a drag right here to that type oh wait let me audible to a pass play right like this um we'll put edelman on a streak just so you see how the uh underneath man coverage plays a streak which it's very bad against and then over here we'll put him on a little drag like this so we'll just snap the ball and you see right there like it's pretty much the streak um i think it didn't play underneath that time so i'm going to try that again press press oh whoops i was on the offensive controller press spread spy triangle underneath right there so again we'll show it um we'll just put him on the drag this time oh my god i'm still in the slant play whoops my fault so streak edelman like this and then like that should be good coverage all the way around besides the streak because that's kind of what we want to show and you see like even edelman edelman isn't beating jimmy smith but i promise you in ultimate team your corner will get smoked every time by a receiver that's fast and has a good beat press so i guess like in regs you can get away with playing underneath with everything but i wouldn't try it so yeah that's pretty much it for 335 wide like like i said though um we'll just we'll just show this real quick so Say they're in like I form wing and you're in three three five or something, and for some reason you want to audible to two two four odd. You can put your audibles to uh, like have the bench blitz right here, and then you can get to it easily. So, just another thing if they're audibling around to different formations, like I don't know if they're in like split close, and then they audible to uh, um, or they're in like strong pro, and then they audible to split close, and you come out in three three five, three three five wide. You can audible to two four five odd, and then you can have good pass defense like this, and uh, with good pressure. So we'll just show this. It's, got, it's probably gonna kill it, yeah, because it wasn't a two wide receiver set, like I said. So um, that's pretty much it for like three three five wide and two four five odd. It's pretty simple. Two receivers equals two four five odd. Um, like no receivers, three tight ends, single back, stuff like that, three three five wide. Cover two man, pretty easy. And always remember to like audible around your coverage. Like um a lot of people like these single back formations now, like um even wide trips I've seen a lot recently. Um like wing slot, pretty pretty common stuff, like because it has a stretch and it also has like some good routes like posts and stuff like that. Just always remember like audible around your coverage. Don't just leave the Q two QB spies all the time is what I'd say because you'll really give up a lot of touchdowns. Um, next, we're going to go over Wildcat. or Actually, we'll go over near close flex first. Near close flex, um, which will come out in like flanker drive, let's say. Oh, I'm in the wrong defense. Um, I would not run 335 wide against this. Um, you can run 335 against Wildcat, QB Blast, stuff like that. Um, now, what we want to do, we want to be in this 3 4 odd. And we want to be in pinch dog to press. So, show it right here. Near close flex like this. Flanker drive like we were talking about. Now, L1 down, pinch the D line. So, 
what I like to do is I always spied this linebacker to the receiver side to kind of stop the rollouts and stuff like that. Um, I never QB contain, and I always hover right here. That's where I start to stop the fullback dive. So now when I'm defending this formation in weekend league or something like that, you got to ask yourself, where are their abilities? Now, if they have an ability on the tight end, it's different than if they have two wide receiver abilities or if they have a running back ability. If they have a running back ability, it's actually a lot easier to stop, honestly. So... We'll, we'll say they have a tight end ability. So your job if they have a tight end ability is just to stop the corner from over here. Like you're going to start right here and you're going to get over there and stop the corner, which is pretty manageable to do. So we'll act like Ed Oldman um, is the receiver that has the ability. So this time we're going to man up our uh, left side corner, man coverage, to the tight end. Triangle, triangle, square up on the right stick and then square like that, man him up. And then this safety right here, we're going to put him in a curl flat. And then what we're going to do is triangle down, triangle up, just to get him in a flat, cloud flat. And then triangle, play outside like this, just to bring that corner in to stop the corner out like that. And it kind of baits him a little bit because if this tight end does have an ability, um, like post flag elite, he'll beat him immediately off the jump. But then you have the cloud flat right there just waiting for him to pick him off. So... Now, I always put the uh, right side safety in the inside third, triangle, triangle, X, and then left stick to the left, like this, inside third. Now, um, what receiver do they have an ability on? If they have an ability on Edelman, um, I'd man this dude up to the outside receiver every time. If they have an ability on the outside receiver, I'd, mm, I'd probably still keep them manned up to the outside receiver, honestly, so... Um, we have decent coverage. Uh, that's not the coverage. So we have decent coverage. This should pretty the inside third should do a good job if this dude runs a post. But again, we also have a QB spot right here, which kind of plays like at this depth. So they'll think like maybe he's covered. But again, you're coming all the way around to like right, right here, checking to see are they rolling out. If they're rolling out, you're going to the corner route because you know that's what they're gonna throw. If they aren't rolling out, you can stay on the post. You can stay on the middle. Um, that, that probably will get cooked, like the outside corner will get cooked if they do run a corner out, so just be aware of that. Um, you can also try to do the same thing on each side, which is put the safety in a curl flat, triangle down, triangle up like this, run double cloud flats. Now you just watch the uh, deep, you just watch deep, like Edelman on a streak and stuff like that. Um, that's another setup you can do. Um, if, they, if they aren't good at all, you can literally just probably inside quarter, inside quarter like this. And then deep half, deep half with like backed up coverage, or not deep half, deep half. Um, you're gonna want the X one on the inside third, like I said, like just to not give up anything deep. Like if it's a third and twenty, this is probably what I would run. Just deep, uh, deep zones everywhere. We'll back them up, so probably look something like this. And then, yeah, good luck being a deep if it's like third and twenty. So that's pretty much how I would stop near close flex. Um, wasn't that hard to stop in Ultimate Team or Weekend League when I played, honestly, and everyone and their mother is running that right now. So that was my setup. I kind of went on the fly with on Weekend League. I applied like pinching, pinch dog, two press from what I've seen like pros do and stuff, and then I came up with my own kind of coverage show. So next we get Wildcat defense. Um, we'll switch teams right here. All right, y'all, we're back here. Now, you see we're in the Panthers um, defense that has the power, that has the jet touch pass and stuff like that. Now, if you see this in regs and you're like, I don't know, like a beginner player that isn't good with quick adjustments, you can still do the 4-4. Four -four. That does a pretty good job of stopping Wildcat, but my favorite one is going to be, again, Pinch Dog 2 Press, just like in the near close flex. We'll go against power. Now, it's pretty similar setup. L1, down, pinch your defense. This dude will come in if I wasn't on him. Um, then this time you're going to QB contain, you're going to bring these dudes back, like so, like this, back like this. And then if you're facing Wildcat, put your QBs in spies, like, or not your QBs, but your safeties in spies like this, just so they play the run better. And also make sure in your coach adjustments, I said this earlier when I was talking about 4-4, but remember to have your option defense set to conservative so they can play the quarterback. Now, we'll just snap it right here. And see how we play. Boom, like that. Like, it's pretty much shut down. Um, you will get popped sometimes if they have human joystick. Just because that is, like, the most cartoony ability in the game. Um, if they if this dude doesn't motion out like that, you can bring him in. It's not too tedious to set up. And, again, QB contain like this. 
pretty much the setup. Now, this is the dream setup to stop, stop Wildcat, and we'll show it this time. Boom. And again, it gets stopped pretty easily. So that pretty much shuts down Wildcat now. Now we'll go into Heavy Panther, which is we're going to do basically the same thing, but we're not going to spy our safeties because they can pass out of Heavy Panther. So, again, Pinch Dog 2 Press, Gun, Heavy Panther. Where's it at? 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 Oh, I went all the way around. So the QB power is pretty much what uh, is lethal out of this. So, again, boom boom like this and then you can actually be on one of these safeties honestly so we'll just run it right here boom you see right there it's pretty much dead like it stops it like that same exact setup except we just didn't QB the spies and now we're or Q, QB spy the safety my fault I can't speak English so just like that um, and again just be on one of the safeties um, I went on one QB contain. Oh, I'm on the offensive controller. I almost dropped it, but you saw like it was it was shutting it down. Like it shut it down pretty easily. Um, another thing is the QB blast. Like out of Taysom Hill. Um, I'm in the Panthers playbook and West Coast on each side, so I don't have that. But I'll just kind of show. Say hypothetically, you're facing New Orleans offense and they come out and uh, like tight slots, pretty much. This is pretty much tight slots, but it's not tight slots. So you can come out. And uh, two, four, five odd, and you can send seven, right? You can come out and bench post three, send seven, like whatever. It's okay, defense. Um, now, say they audible to whatever. Um, the QB take some hill QB blast, which is hard to stop. So, what you can do now is you can audible to three, three, five wide, and then you can get that set up, spread your D line, spy your safeties like this if you want to, but it's kind of dangerous because they can't pass out of it. So you can get from two four five odd to three three five wide. Um, just another little tip like that. That's pretty much going to do it. That's the last thing I wanted to say. Just kind of how to stop the cheesy stuff like QB blast and wildcat. Um, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you comment down below, like the video, and subscribe. Um, let me know if these tips helped you at all. I haven't given up like a hundred yard rusher and God knows when. Um, so I can also do pass defense if you want me to. I can show like. How I stop split close, bunch, tight slots, pretty much like the meta offense. Um, comment down below if you do want that. But anyway, it's been your boy Dill, and I'm out. Peace.